My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less video. I can tell you everything you need to know. I've worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for four decades. I've been doing this for 50 years. Many of you have come to me. You've seen me on the national news. You can look at my news clips and see my whole IRS team at 777irs.com. We can handle any IRS situation. I do these videos really for three reasons. So A, you don't get ripped off by another company. You find out the truth. I try to educate you and I give you insight or information many times depending what subject it's on and I'll tell you how IRS looks at something like that. I just got asked a question by the way um, and says, hey, IRS um, uh, filed my tax returns and then filed the federal tax lien and what's the situation why can IRS do that and what can I do if IRS filed my tax return for me well um, if you haven't filed the re your tax return I, I now used to do this for a living so you're hearing it from the horse's mouth IRS will file your tax return under 6020 B of the Internal Revenue Code they can in fact go ahead and send you a letter and uh, they'll send you usually a couple letters and saying, hey, um, where's your tax return? You don't file your return, you'll get another letter and you'll find out that IRS has taken your 1099s and W-2s and prepared a single tax return with no dependents or deductions and filed your tax return and have now created an assessment in your name. So what do you do, in fact, when that happens? Very simple. You go ahead, you don't file an amended return, you file an original tax return and that original return will supersede the IRS's filing of 6020B. What I urge you to do is put original tax return on top of that return, but IRS probably prepares, I'm guessing, 300,000 tax returns a year from people who have not prepared their returns and they come out many people wind up and one day they've got a levy a lien and a revenue officer knocking on the door they didn't even know irs prepared your re prepared a return so if this has happened to you you need to reverse that process if you need us call us or just file an original return yourself but that's a legal assessment that irs made so if irs did this and it said you owe a hundred thousand you owe a hundred thousand dollars it may take anywhere from three to six months to undo the process. So if you get caught in that web, like I said, fix it yourself or call us. If this, You'll see my information below. If this information was good to you, give me a subscription. YouTube loves that we get subscriptions. It kind of moves us up. So I'd really appreciate if you do that. Thank you for the subscription.